Hi everyone and welcome to part 5 of my new Now and Choreograph Train to Cheerio videos. These videos are designed for someone who has just got their first Now and needs to run through the basics, so please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofeel.com. Now on these videos we're looking into the very basics of Now and Choreograph. Last week we looked into how to keep the Now up to date and then we jumped straight into the Choreograph section. This week we're looking into how to connect to your robot and manage the behaviours and we will also be looking into the parallel behaviours so we can get the now doing several things at once. Right now jumping back to the index we are now looking at connecting to the robot. So you can connect to your robot by using the green connect button. It sort of looks like a little wireless sign. If you cannot see your robot on the list, you can try to use the IP address. The Robot 3D View will update depending on your robot's vision and will follow the robot movement. If you directly run the behaviour, nothing will happen as your robot has no stiffness. Stiffness is the ratio of torque a motor can use. Once you've connected to the robot in Choreograph, you can set the stiffness or enslave. The action to provide power to the motors of your robot. When your now is not stiffened, its limbs are soft like a puppet. Its motors do not have power. To execute behaviours and see the results of your connected robot, you have to stiffen it, giving power to the motors. You can set on or off the stiffness of all joints of the robot. So these buttons can be green, that means no joint is stiffened, the robot cannot move by itself, but you can move its limbs manually. Orange is an intermediate state depending on the stiffness value. And red, all the joints are stiffened, the robot is able to move by himself, do not try to move his limbs manually. Instead of stiffening all the joints of the now, it's possible to set the stiffness of each joint individually. Clicking on a limb on the robot view allows you to toggle stiffness and to move joints one by one. It's also possible to set the stiffness during the execution of the behaviour to an intermediary value as all actions don't require the same strength. To do so, add the set stiffness box to your behaviour. The motor on off box allows you to change the stiffness inside the behaviour. Click on the wrench to access the parameters. To dig a little further into how the now works, we need to have a look at the behaviour. A behaviour is a set of instructions that can be sent or installed on the robot. It can then be executed in order to make the now talk, walk, dance, play, sound, etc. The set of instructions is represented by boxes which are sequentially or simultaneously executed. When running a behaviour on the robot, Choregraph sends the behaviour to the now. The behaviour is executed inside the robot, it goes on even if you lose connection. Now sends information back to Choregraph to get the links green. Timing on Choregraph may not be accurate. Going back to our index, we are now looking to see how to run parallel behaviours. So for example, if you want the robot to speak while moving, the first thing we do is drag in a say box which is in the audio voice folder. You then double click on the box to enter inside the box and here you will see where you can write your text. You can also select the language in the box but be careful as this box does not change the now's text language. You can specify a sentence for each language with multi-language behaviour. You can also click on the wrench to see the parameters and modify the robot's voice. You can then click on the root folder to get out of the box again. If you did want to change the language of the robot, then Choregraph has a set language box. If you add this to the window and connect it to the front of the save box. To finish the behaviour, we also want an hello wave. So please go to Motion, Animations and drag this in. Connect it as shown in the picture alongside the other two boxes, but not connected to them. To finish the behaviour, then please drag in and connect up the motors on off box to both ends of the hello wave. Then add a wait for signals box which is in the flow control as shown in the picture. The output fires when the two inputs have been stimulated. You can also add a wait box which is in the flow control time folder before speaking. Set the timing parameters but please be warned don't use the timer box that fires on every end second.
Right, that's it for this week, guys. Just to recap, we've gone through how to connect to your robot and manage the behaviors, as well as looking into the parallel behaviors. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news, and information, then please visit us at robofield.com, where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now, if you like this material and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well, where I put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Nail Robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to seeing you next time.